the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay It says, O oh Lord my God, early will I seek you. There is timing when it has to do with seeking the Lord. And so I appreciate everyone. I also truly want to honor Pastor Emmanuel and his lovely wife. You have an amazing pastor. God bless you. Bless you, Ma. And the entire pastorate, the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Father, send your word this morning and let it change my life. Lift your voice and pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Send your word this morning. Send your word. Let it change my life. Let it transform my destiny. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please be seated for a few minutes. We'll have just a brief session this morning. It will largely be a prayer meeting. I'll just open our eyes to a few truths and then we will pray hallelujah are we blessed proverbs chapter 4 and verse 18 the bible there declares in proverbs chapter 4 when you read from verse 18 that according to god's intent for man the path of the just even as he advances in life and through life should be as the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day that means in god's economy a man should not have a better yesterday it should never be that your yesterday becomes better than your tomorrow the path of the just is as a shining light that shines brighter and brighter even unto the perfect day hallelujah what i want to teach you this morning very briefly is a key that can open closed doors but let's discuss the concept of doors for a few minutes a door is an authorized system of access a door represents an authorized system of access you may have heard me say it once and again that if a visitor enters through your window he's inside your house but he's not an authorized access the authorized access when a person is welcomed when we came into this beautiful auditorium we came in through the door imagine seeing me jump from the zinc i'm in here the roof now but i'm not welcome so a door represents an authorized system of access doors represent opportunities doors allow for movement the presence of doors listen carefully doors allow for movement when opened if a door is opened it means you have access to advance if a door is closed it means you are restricted now listen carefully when a door is open you can move in and out freely if this door is open i can walk out at will and return back at will but when a door is closed it brings limitations it brings delay 
it brings frustrations when a door is closed even though it is there let me tell you something else about doors doors midwife seasons connecting a season and the next are doors the same way this door is midwifing this auditorium and the passage outside if i want to get to that passage i will have to go through this door so doors spiritual doors midwife seasons when you are living a season into another season you will encounter a door and if you do not have the key that opens that door you can remain in certain seasons almost forever is god speaking to us first thessalonians chapter 2 please and verse 18 this is a prayer meeting let your heart be fired up read with me please paul is speaking now to the church in thessalonica ready one to read wherefore we would have come to you even i paul i tried once and again but your blessings wanted to come to you it kept trying to reach you breakthroughs wanting to come to you it tried once keep that scripture there please and again he says but satan so that satan can be behind the closed door of a man and stop that door from opening you keep having dreams that show advancement you keep having prophecies that decree that you should move forward but these doors remain closed why because satan can become a resistance i desire to have come to you your breakthrough is speaking i desire to have come to you your next level is speaking i desire to have come to you the next level of oil on your life the next level of influence the next level of fire the next level of increase the job you are looking for once and again i tried but satan hindered us <laughs> revelation chapter 3 from verse 7 and 8 please pay attention this morning revelation chapter 3 from verse 7 and to the angel of the church in philadelphia write this thing saith he that is holy and he that is true listen carefully and he that had the key of david what does that key do he can open and when he opens no man can shut and he can shut and when he shuts no man there are doors when you open someone else can shut it but there is a key that when you hold when you open that door no power in existence will sustain the ability to shut it first corinthians 16 first corinthians 16 from verse 8 and 9 first corinthians 16 from verse 8 let's go to verse 9 but i will tarry at ephesus it says for a great door and effectual is open unto me but i'm still not able to pass through it why there are many i have seen in my visions that god is opening me to a greater level of ministry a greater level of spiritual exploit a greater level financially but let me tell you something one of the ways you confirm that you are on the right mountain is the presence of giants if you go to a mountain that does not have anything there run away because whatever attracts you also attracts the devil satan is interested in everything god is saying when he comes to you he wants to find out what has god said i am lifting you that becomes his next assignment to stand And inhibit your rising so there are doors that can limit men but there is something that we can do to doors hallelujah there is something we can do to doors because I sense in my spirit that there are many people you are ending seasons spiritual seasons financial seasons like I began to teach yesterday but you must be trained 
to know how to open closed doors so that you can step into a new level let me tell you if you disregard what i'm telling you you will spend your life recycling the same seasons they did not take the nation of israel 40 years over a journey that they would have covered in 40 days the bible says the labor of the fool weary yet every one of them why because they do not know the way to the city not because there is no city they do not know the way to the city so jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 16 says to stand in the way he says and to ask for that old path where is the good way and when you have found it walk in it make advancement in that direction and you will enter your sabbath you will find rest for your souls if we are together say amen, amen. matthew chapter 7 i love jesus my goodness my god matthew chapter 7 from verse 7 jesus is teaching in what we call the beatitudes it was a mentorship session he was having introducing the people of the day to the kingdom life he was exposing them to the way that the kingdom operates please give it to us verse 7 ask he says and it shall be given to you seek and you shall find but when you come before closed doors knock don't discuss knock and if you truly knock it leaves you with a promise that that door will be open are we bible students so jesus is teaching us what to do with closed doors now that every time you come before a closed door you must know how to knock there is a way and there is a skill that you use to knock closed doors even if that door did not open for your father even if that door did not open for your mother even if that door did not open for anyone in your lineage you can come with an understanding and there is a way you knock that door and my bible and your bible says it shall be open verse 8 for here is the law verse 8 same matthew for everyone how many people did he say men of god did he say people in worry alone everyone that asked will receive everyone that seek it will find and everyone my goodness that means there is nobody here who should remain the same because this blessing is for everyone there are things in the bible that are for certain people but there are things that are for everyone when it has to do with opening closed doors everyone can be a benefactor it says everyone that knocketh, it shall be opened i want to show you how to knock closed doors this is my assignment this morning seeing that if you must make advancement midwifing between seasons in your life you will meet closed doors if you master what i teach you this morning i would have completed my assignment successfully in this city the bible never said use your hand to knock there is a skill by which we knock closed doors i want to show you that skill and then we pray pray in the spirit in one minute la parakato ze de prende ke te baladaba shegete predia yes a closed door is about to open i assure you age long doors doors that have refused to open will answer now because it's time to advance hallelujah praise the name of the lord luke chapter 11 the mentor jesus is about to teach us how to open closed doors luke chapter 11 please we'll read the first 10 verses but the verse of emphasis starts from five and it came to pass please look up and pay attention that as he was praying so what is the subject matter here prayer in a certain place when he seized one of his disciples said unto him lord 
teach us to pray we notice that when john was mentoring his disciples he taught them something about prayer but you've not taught us anything about prayer and jesus said to them when you pray say so prayer can be taught a man can be taught to pray when you pray say our father which art in heaven i've done a teaching on this hallowed be your name your kingdom come thy will be done as in heaven so in earth we're reading give us this day our daily bread next verse forgive us our sins as we forgive everyone that is indebted to us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil now the discourse starts pay attention and he said unto them which of you shall have a friend and shall go to him at midnight and say friend lend me three loves for a friend of mine in his journey is come to me and i have nothing to set before him this is shame this is embarrassment i'm making progress but now i've met with a situation i need help it says and he from within please go okay it says and he from within shall answer now watch what is happening i am outside but my help is inside midwife in my outside and inside is a door and now i do not know how to pass that door the bread i'm looking for is inside the house the friend who is my destiny helper is inside the house and i am here standing outside jesus is teaching us what to do the friend said trouble me not the door is now read your bible don't trouble me the door that should be open for bread to come the door that should be open for your helper to come is now shut and my children are in with me in bed i cannot rise and give you verse 8 hallelujah 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 i say unto you though he will not rise jesus is teaching us how to knock and open closed doors he will not rise and give him because he is his friend yet because of his importunity the word importunity is the word persistence the capacity to stay and remain and not bend what will happen he will rise and give him how many how many therefore this is the formula i say unto you again ask amplified says ask and keep asking seek and keep seeking and you shall find it says knock and keep knocking and the door shall be open unto you verse 10 the last verse for everyone who asks and keeps on asking receives everyone who seeks and keeps on seeking finds and everyone who knocks and keeps on knocking now listen carefully so jesus has given us a very classic narrative i'm on my journey through destiny and then i find out that in the other side is my lifting in the other side is a new anointing in the other side is a new dimension of grace but midwifing my current realm and the realm i intend to access is a door and yet to access that door the door is shut colossians 4 verse 3 who is like him the lion and the lamb seated on the throne mountains bow down and every ocean roll to the lord of lords i will praise adonai from the rising of the sun till the end of every day Praise Adonai All the nations of the earth All the angels and the saints Sing praise 
Colossians 4 verse 3 Champions Cathedral Read with me One, two, read Without Praying for us also That God Stop 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 Don't rush There are doors only God can open The holder of the key To close doors Please keep that scripture We need to look at it There's something we pick there Who opens closed doors? God Has a key That can open even ancient doors Doors that refuse to open for those who went ahead of you Your own assignment Is that there is a way you can pray This is how you knock on closed doors You knock on closed doors By calling the attention of the one who has the key to that door I may not have the key But I know the one who has the key And I can call upon him And the Bible says call upon me And I will answer Close doors Pray for us That God would open unto us a door In this case a door of utterance But it can be a door of favor It can be a door of lifting Is someone learning this morning? Last scripture and we begin to pray James chapter 5 Apostle James began to teach us Again speaking on how to close and to open Verse 5 James 5 verse 13 13 13 He says Is any among you afflicted? He says Let him pray Is any merry? Let him sing psalms Uh huh The Bible says Is any sick among you Let him call for the elders of the church And let them pray over him Anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord And the prayer of faith Shall save the sick And the Lord shall raise him up And if he have committed any sins They shall be forgiven him Now pay attention It says confess your faults one to another And pray for one another that you may be healed Then he tells us the effectual fervent prayer Of a righteous man availed much Next verse He now uses an individual To personify the power of prayer And its ability to control the opening And the closing of doors Follow carefully Elijah was a man subject to like passions as we are. The Bible says he prayed. Talk to me. He prayed. Knock and keep knocking. Knock and keep knocking. He prayed earnestly that it might not rain. I hope you know that between the earth and the atmosphere there is a door. That is the door that shuts rains. And it is the opening of it that brings rain. The Bible says he prayed that it would not rain. And that door became closed for three years and six months. And when it was time for him to open the door, what key did he use? He prayed again. So if you prayed for yesterday's victory to come, what do you do for tomorrow's door to open again? You pray again. He prayed again that the door be opened And the heavens gave rain And the earth brought forth her fruit The ministry of prayer with understanding Is one of the master keys That opens closed doors Especially doors that Satan is directly behind it Causing a resistance I have learned this in my life I have learned this in ministry The challenge is that many believers Are not given to strategic Intentional Continual prayer It's the reason why we stand Before closed doors for so long For many years And it seems as though God is powerless Concerning such situations When you truly know how to hold on To the four horns of the altar And to pray the Bible leaves us with an assurance that even ancient doors can be lifted. Do you know something? 
there are times that your prayer becomes so powerful the door is not open it is broken why is it broken so your children will not have to pay that price again if i only open the door sometimes i may pass but what happens to my child psalm 24 verse 7 if you are a christian i'd like you to shout this scripture one two three lift up your heads Uh hold on hold on the king of glory wants to pass but he does not want to pass alone so he didn't say doors open he says doors be lifted get out of the way so that as i come out i now become the first begotten let many be able to come doors can be open but doors can be broken he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder hear me look up please you only need a key to a door that has a padlock and has a space for key but there are certain doors that do not have a space for keys at that point you don't need a key you need the force to break it have you seen them seal an entrance when the doors require keys you can pray and god can give you the wisdom the keys the principles to engage and the doors open but there are times you stand before doors and there is no provision to slot a key there is no padlock there is just a mass of resistance at that point you do not need keys you need to pray this prayer lift up your hands when they got to jericho the bible says the fence of jericho was so fortified they didn't need jericho to open they needed to shut it down and flatten it and with one loud blast i understand you have praise sessions you have prophetic sessions by this night and your praise night maximize those moments because as you lift up your voice in praise and in worship i tell you there are doors that will crumble before you jericho was an altar what sort of a place is that that nothing goes in and nothing comes out there is nobody who builds a house without a place for passage but jericho was short nothing goes in nothing goes out this morning we have come here as i wrap up my session with you there are doors that need to open there are doors that need to be broken in any case all doors must open are we together how many doors how many doors i hope you know when it was time for the nation of israel to leave egypt when the heat was getting hot pharaoh started negotiating he said okay this is what will happen we will allow the men to go but the children stay behind and moses said no way if i am leaving my children will also follow he says as for me and my house so your prayer this morning is not just for you alone while we are praying let your children be there let your family be there some of you you are the first genuine christian in your family at that point you don't just need an open door there are doors you are going to smash to pieces this morning and make up your mind hear me there are families where you will never eat until you become a slave you can travel abroad for decades you return back and your future looks like yesterday he makes his ministers his angels spirits and his ministers flames there was a great man of god who said no matter how mad a man is he does not enter fire by mistake no he's not that mad 
so three things will happen this morning as we pray number one we are going to take our time to engage in serious prophetic prayers prayers over doors some of you doors of admission have refused to open are we together some of you doors of children doors of breakthrough all kinds of doors doors of finances doors of spiritual advancement up today down tomorrow no passion no fire i desire to come to you once and again some of you have businesses the door is open physically but spiritually the door is closed can i tell you this you can be in a city but in the realm of the spirit you are outside that city because the riches and the blessings of that city is it not in your bible it says blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord a city can reject a man you are there but nothing is answering to you you buy a land it becomes a source of trouble you send your child to school every trouble is there just when you want to drive out in the morning you, you get into a trouble all kinds of things there are doors that can open is someone tired of his current level listen if you are not tired of where you are there's no this meeting is not for you but there are people here even spiritually you are saying lord i'm tired i know you have called me there is an unction upon my life there is a grace you have sent me and you gave me a commission over this city i'm tired of this level of anointing you have called me to walk in the healing anointing and yet nobody is getting healed through my life you have called me to be a prophet and every prophetic word i give looks like a lie you have called me to be a kingdom financier and yet no door is opening you have called me to be a mother that best generals and yet barrenness is eating me up can you open your mouth and begin to pray in the spirit in one minute are you praying? Shaba <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. First Samuel chapter 12 and verse 6. We are praying. My spirit is fired up. First Samuel chapter 12 and verse 6. And Samuel said unto the people, It is the Lord that advanced Moses and Aaron. Men don't just move forward. There is a force that comes from the Lord. Are you ready to pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that in this season, every mountain, every closed door, stand in my way. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Every mountain. Every mountain, every mountain, every door in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, be open, Father, be open, every mountain, be scattered. 
scattered now and every closed door be open be lifted be open be lifted pray 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 doors midwifing my new season doors midwifing new realms new dimensions of power new dimensions of grace new opportunities be open Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12. Please don't be distracted. Don't be distracted. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. That means listen the physical things that are happening are not where the problem is the man annoying you in the office is not really the problem behind the scene there are spirits controlling men the one refusing for you to move forward just sign a document and let me go there are spirits keep that scripture there fighting things physically is a waste of time we wrestle not against flesh this battle is not in the realm of flesh and blood. All of a sudden, the helpers of your destiny seem to be forgetting you. Someone is making them forget you. The Bible says, but against principalities, powers, rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. Say in the name of Jesus, I decree, I declare, by the blood of the Lamb, every power standing the way to my advancement caused by ancestry, bloodline, foundations, I come against you in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. I come against you. I come against you. Every resistance, every power in partnership with humans, in partnership with systems and structures to frustrate the purposes of God over my life, over my advancement. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. Habarakatos kete brenda kete brenda kete. Skoto poko kobra kete le kete barat. Embrenda kete os kete barat os kete.
the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. First Kings chapter 18. We'll begin our reading from verse 45. Something is about to happen. Listen. This was when the heavens refused to produce rain. The Bible says it came to pass in the meanwhile that on prayer, Elijah had invested in prayer. The heaven was black with clouds and wind. And there was great rain. And Ahab rode. Ahab seemed to have gone ahead of Elijah. It seemed like Elijah was experiencing delay. But something happened in verse 46. Oh, may that be your miracle. Help those under the anointing. The Bible says, And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. Everybody shout speed. Shout it again. Say speed. There are times that life has gone ahead of you. There must be grace not just to advance, but to advance on time and catch up. The Bible says, And he guarded his loins. And he ran before Ahab Even to the entrance of Israel Father in the name of Jesus Every delay That I have suffered In time past I receive a grace From heaven To run To pursue To overtake To take over Lift your voice and pray Grace for speed Grace for speed Speed of accomplishment Spiritual speed Speed in your career The hand of the Lord Oh yes, oh yes, the hand of the Lord upon my life, bringing speed, advancement, speed, ten years in one year, ten years in one year, ten years in one year, ten years in one year. Yes, in one year. Ten years in one year. In the name of Jesus Are we still together? Listen Listen Praise the Lord Now listen to me One of the forces That controls advancement And even speed Is the force of favor Now listen please Favor is when someone is willing to invest his time, his credibility, his resources to see that you rise on time. It's a system of acceleration. You may have heard me say who hates you in this life does not matter. But who likes you matters. Who hates you does not matter. But I can tell you who likes you matters. You know why? Because all blessings come from God through men to men. It does not just come from God to men. It comes from God through men. Men can be doors themselves. Doors are not just blocks. Human agents can be doors. Gatekeepers are doors. They can choose to frustrate you or they can choose to cooperate with you. Esther 
chapter 2 someone is about to receive a grace for favor please listen hear me listen to me the number one reason why people prosper and advance in this kingdom behind every tearsome testimony behind every strange advancement of men i can tell you this is the favor of god it's true if you have been sleeping wake up now because what you are about to receive can define the next decade of your life i have seen people listen the bible says it is vain to wake up in the morning and to sleep late at night i have seen business people ceos productive sincere people very gifted but there is no favor on them i have seen music artists anointed people when i heard their songs i said why is the world not hearing you no favor there are skilled people there are artists there are people who have drawn me portraits of me and when i saw what they did i said you shouldn't be at this level it takes more than skill to excel in this kingdom i want to show you a secret now that will give you advancement esther chapter 2 when the king banished vashti please pay attention and there was need for a woman who would occupy that position they gathered all the women across the 127 provinces and there was a little villager called hadassah from shushan and her uncle mordecai said why don't you go to paradventure the king may like you esther 2 15 that young girl was there among the many people i show you what distinguishes you among the crowd because what you are looking for others are looking for it too there must be a grace on your life that distinguishes you especially in a continent like ours now when the turn of esther the daughter of abihai the uncle of mordecai who had taken her for his daughter was come to go on to the king listen carefully she required nothing but what hey guy the king's chamberlain the keeper of the women appointed what happened esther obtained favor in the sight of how many listen if it is favor the only person who cannot respond to you is a blind man favor works with the power of sight provided men see you there is a compelling anointing now watch this when you read the preceding verses let's go to 16 we'll end at 17. so esther was taken listen carefully to king ahasuerus into his house royal in the 10th month which is the month tebeth in the seventh year of his reign there was an oil that Haggai gave her keep rubbing this ointment on your body other women were learning how to attract the king but Haggai said i have worked with the king i am the one who keeps his women i know what the king wants let me give you a kind of oil forget about what these women are doing keep rubbing that oil on your body after one year go before the king and she heeded to his advice the bible says verse 17 and the king loved esther above all the women and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins so that he set the royal crown on her head and made her queen instead of vashi listen there is an oil there is a grace i call it the esther anointing it can come upon an individual and you go where they drove you yesterday and then you are back to that same place and there is this charm like aura that you carry are you ready to pray father the grace for favor let it come upon me lift your voice and pray the grace for favor for favor the grace for
for favor. Sala prata gata prende gata bala katus. The grace for favor. Don't be tired of praying, your life is changing. The grace for favor. In the name of Jesus, the grace for favor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Listen. We have three more prayer points and we're done. I'm still speaking on favor. Exodus chapter 3 verse 21. This is how you know the favor of God is upon you. Are you ready? One, two, let's read together. In the sight of the Egyptians. What is the proof? It shall come to pass that when ye go, ye shall not go empty. Emptiness has an explanation. It is proof that the favor of God is not upon your hand emptiness emptiness have you heard people say i know this one i know the chief judge of this place i know this one we even act together with the governor there are people who know everybody but nothing comes from there to lift you i know the manager of this place i know this great man of god we used to be together we were neighbors no don't be like jacob there were angels ascending and descending near him but none of them was talking to him just because you are close to a door does not mean the door has opened are you ready to pray you are going to cause the spirit of emptiness listen 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 we are christians when we make these demands is because we love the lord and what comes from us will serve his purposes so we are not afraid to make these petitions we are not some carnal people just wanting to glorify the flesh say in the name of jesus the spirit responsible for hardship and emptiness in my life i challenge you by the power of the holy ghost be gone now in the name of jesus lift your voice and pray emptiness Emptiness. Parose ke te prende ke te beleke ta. Shika te beke te baraka to prato sike te. Shika te prende ke te pros ke te leke ta. E prake te paruso soko to prende ke te ke te leva. I challenge emptiness from my life. I challenge emptiness from my business. I challenge emptiness from my family in the name of Jesus. Are you praying? Hallelujah. 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 One last, one last prayer over the issue of favor. A scripture God is just putting in my spirit now. Psalms. I think that Psalms 44 verse 3 psalms 44 let me show you there is a grace that establishes men in a territory they got not the land in possession by their own sword neither did their own arm save them there are many people who want to make advancement and be established thank god for the grace to pay rent but lord i'm trusting now that you will establish me it will not just happen just by savings alone uh -uh. father i have five
five children six children three children and now it's time to send them to school but i need the wherewithal let me show you the key please keep that scripture they got not the land in possession by their own sword neither did their own arm save them but your right hand thy arm and the light of your countenance how did you do it because thou hast a favor ah. hear me you will never i'm saying this to everybody but particularly the men in this church the real secret to establishment is the favor of god can i tell you this the proof of favor is not money the proof of favor is loyalty to the hearts of men when men love you and are willing to invest their time their credibility you can have money and not be favored the proof of favor is when men can appear and come and say we will help you david was in the cave of adulam and there were certain men who came and said oga our assignment here is to stand by you till you become a king that leads me to the next prayer point are you ready to call the helpers of your destiny hear me men can be doors you can pass through men to new levels in your life my life today is a product of the ministry of destiny helpers there has to be someone anointed commissioned authorized to hold your hand watch this let me use this gentleman you see where he is he desires to move forward to come to this realm but it takes someone already here to say give me your hand and he will help you there is no destiny helper who comes on their own they are called hear me some of you this is why you have been fasting and praying and say lord it's not difficult for you to lift me the person who is there is not seeing you there has to be a grace that connects you to your helper please hear me don't just be excited for nothing these things these prayers are destiny altering prayers there are four levels of destiny helpers that if they do not show up in your life you can never rise I've done a teaching on them, but let me just give you in one minute. Our time is up. Number one, the first category of destiny helpers you need, they are called divine connectors. They don't have the solution you are looking for, but they know who can help you. Hear what I'm telling you. The slave girl did not have the power to heal Naaman, but she knew how to recommend him to the prophet. The key to receiving from those kinds of destiny helpers is discernment because they will come in forms that you may not appreciate them it may be a bike man who gives you a handbill of a crusade a handbill of a conference and that handbill you come for that conference and you encounter grace that changes you the key to receiving from divine connectors is discernment that's why it's good to honor all men don't honor only blessed people don't honor only great people god will use the least likely people god can use your security man to be the one to connect you somebody know somebody who knows somebody who has what you are praying for are you learning this morning the second category of destiny helpers that you need in your life they are called men of influence there are times you need the gatekeepers the captains of industry whether they are born again or not let me tell you something there are people that are not castable they are gatekeepers you can't cast them if god wants you to pass through that door he will make them like you when a man's ways pleases the lord he makes even his enemies to be at peace because there is an office they occupy if they refuse to let you pass you can pray all you can yet you will not pass how will joseph rise if pharaoh did not love him hear me please it's not enough to know big men you must pray that they know you men 
Christians are men who by reason of their sacrifices, by reason of their credibility, their skill and their service, they have earned the loyalty of a territory. Men believe in them. One signature from them, help this person, can end 10 years. Don't downplay men. This is a world of men. The heaven of heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth has He given to the sons of men. Believe me when I tell you, if men decide to fight you, only God can help you. Don't ignore men. Believers have done this. If you praise God and say, I don't need any man, just because you are showing His sovereignty, you are right. But if you say, I don't need any man, just because you think you can do it without men, you are joking. Even God needed men. Are we together? It is in the multitude of men, not treasures, that the king's honor lies. Hear me. You need men of influence. There has to be someone who can endorse you. There has to be someone who can carry his credibility of 20 years and leverage it on you. Whether you are in ministry, whether you are in music ministry, you are in whatever sector, struggling on your own and trying to rise past step. You will spend your whole lifetime trying to rise. You need someone. There are times you have the gift, oh Joseph, but you are in the prison. You need somebody already in the palace to speak for you. And if you do not have a pharaoh to send for you, you may remain in your dungeon. The Bible says, and the king sent for Joseph, not God. The king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. There is one person who can decide to invest his credibility on your life and in a matter of months your life can change am i wasting your time the third category of destiny help us because i want us to pray and i don't just want you to pray blindly i want you to pray with intelligence the first category of destiny help us don't forget divine connectors second men of influence third gifted men you need to pray gifted men to your life. Gifted men conserve your resources. They conserve your energy. There are many companies that have so many staff. 100 people. And yet there are 10 people who can deliver the same results. Gifted men, the largest corporations in the world, are people who have mastered the art of putting together a team of absolutely brilliant and phenomenal people. You need gifted men. The Bible says if the axe head is blunt, there will be much energy, there will be much labor. You need people who are cunning, who are skilled. That's why when Saul discovered David, he said, you play skillfully, come. The palace is where you should be. You need gifted people. The last set of destiny helpers that you need, if you must advance and make progress in this life, they are called burden bearers. What betides any man who does not have burden bearers? These people don't like you because you of your fame. Mm -mm. They are not looking for your result. Their assignment is not to move you forward. Their assignment is to keep you from going backward. Burden bearers. There are the ones who cry with you when things go bad. Few of them among the maze of psychophants who loiter around you because of money and fame. There are a few people who sincerely love you. They will pray for you. They don't just stand with you. They die with you. That's what Ruth told Naomi. Your God will be my God. Your people will be my people can i tell you this i presume that there are many people who god has helped and blessed and established in this church let me give you a powerful secret you're a businessman here you're a captain of industry you're a senior executive let me give you an advice i want you to take a very careful inventory of the people who are really burden bearers in your life do you know why many great men plunge to depression and even death because when things go wrong in their life suddenly they find out that everyone who has loitered around them was there just for what they will get our world is largely driven by interest and selfishness but there are a few people who are there not for what they can get there are people who will cry with you 
they will die with you they will receive the blows for you don't ignore those people they may not be educated they may not be smart but they are gifts from god so when you are now praying for destiny help us you know what you are praying for that number one lord send divine connectors number two send men of influence number three send gifted men but in all your sending oh god also send burden bearers lift your voice and begin to pray pray and receive the ministry of destiny help us pray and receive the ministry of destiny help us the Lord to send you divine connectors ask the Lord to send you man of influence ask the Lord to send you gifted man ask the Lord to send you burden bearers hallelujah hallelujah Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Now I want to pray for you. I want to speak over your life. I truly believe in the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I know there is power from heaven, listen, that can come upon a man. My life today is a testimony of what happens when the anointing of the Holy Ghost comes upon you. Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 just help those under the anointing i want to pray for you whether you are outside whether you are inside the lord sent me here through the ministry of your treasured pastor the angel over this house hear me there must come a time in your life when you encounter genuine grace grace is not just for men of god it's not for those in ministry it is the force that causes men to excel and to make progress are we together now yes i wish we had the time so i tell you stories stories i am a product of many anointings myself we have taken by the grace of god from the wells of they that have gone ahead of us it's a relay no man invents this anointing there are all kinds of graces that are responsible for feats of advancement acts 10 38 says how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power that anointing made him to go forward he went about doing good healing all day that were oppressed of the devil hear me i know you have a great business but until that business is anointed it cannot excel you have a great family i know you are gifted but even your gift has to be anointed for it to serve the purposes of the kingdom i'm trusting that within the next one or two minutes that something from heaven will come upon your destiny and will alter the course of your life that you will go and write it that here at this conference seven days of glory something happened and it changed my life are you ready to receive father i pray standing in faith you don't have to kneel just stand i stand in faith with Pastor Emmanuel and his wonderful wife, the leadership of the Champions Cathedral. And in the name of Jesus, there are people here who desire to make very strategic advancement. I speak to you, the oil. My God, I'm just seeing like a river flowing. This is what I'm seeing. A river flowing. Help them. A river. 
in the name of Jesus the anointing for the next level of your life take that grace take that grace take that grace in the name of Jesus the grace for signs and wonders you are in ministry here I release that grace upon you take that grace prayer fire may that grace rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ hear me there are women here that God is empowering with unusual grace I release my I stretch my hands may that grace locate you right now may that grace locate you right now help them please let me pray for those in business it takes more than buying and selling to excel there is an unction that can come upon your enterprise you don't have to come out i stretch my hands everyone in this church following online you are in business i declare the power that excels may that grace rest upon you now may that grace land upon you now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now please hear me hear me there's an impartation going on there is a grace for visibility there is a grace for influence and visibility just because you have what to offer does not mean the city will receive of your grace there is a grace that gives men visibility hallelujah now listen very carefully Acts chapter 12 we are wrapping up I want I have to pray that grace upon you before I leave the grace for visibility Acts chapter 12 let's start from verse 5 the Bible says that Peter was kept in prison is it not doors that are used to close prisons and gates the Bible says Peter an apostle who had potentials to do so much in a city he was locked up in prison closed with doors but prayer was made without season of the church unto God for him uh -huh. when Herod would have brought him for that same night listen carefully while Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and the keepers before the door there were doors to that prison next verse behold the angel of the lord came upon him and light shined in the prison and he smote peter by his side raised him up saying arise up quickly and his chains fell off his hands verse 8 and the angel watch this now he said guard up thyself bind thy sandals and he said unto him cast thy garment about thee and follow me in other words you will not remain in this position again follow me let's begin to advance verse 9 and he went out and followed him and wist not that it was true which was done by the angel he thought he was he saw a vision verse 10 hallelujah the bible says and when he was past the first and the second door what there means doors watch this there were three doors i want to give you a mystery god taught me about influence and visibility there was the door that brought him out of the prison but he was not yet out from that environment then he came to the second door and then he came to a mysterious gate called the iron gate that opens to where there is a gate that opens to the city the moment that gate is open all you see before you is the city there is a gate that controls visibility and influence when that gate is opened then the city can see you there are many great men and women of god here god has walked upon you and he's sending you to the city but the city is yet to receive of the investment of the spirit there are ceos uncommon entrepreneurs politicians help her please help that woman because that's what is happening to her you will marvel at the testimonies you will come and share on this exalted altar can i pray for you 
Father, the door and the gates that opens up to the city. The anointing that controls influence and visibility upon everyone under the sound of my voice. May that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. Whatever business you are involved with, we give it a voice and we command the city to hear your voice. Everything that has relegated you to the background, gifted but limited, we open that door and we push you forward. In the name of Jesus, we push you forward. We push you forward. We push you forward. We push you forward. In the name of Jesus. Finally, let me pray for your spiritual advancement. If all you have is money, if all you have is a flourishing business, flourishing career, wonderful family, and your relationship i'm not just talking of new birth your passion and fire the highest thing that you must prize in life is your relationship with the lord it says that you prosper even as your soul the kind of prosperity that takes away your passion that the higher you rise in other areas the more you go down spiritually, it's not recommended for believers. No. That after 30 years, you are still standing serving this Lord Jesus. That in the end of your life, you will be like Abraham. He says, and Abraham was old and well stricken in age. And the Lord had blessed him in all things. I declare, whatever has killed your zeal for God your passion for prayer fasting your word life your passion for the house of God character in the name of Jesus like the hair of Samson grew back let there be a miracle of restoration for you every wrong association in your life that continues to make you abort destiny I break you away from those associations in the name of Jesus Christ I declare like never before a fresh hunger for God a, help that man a fresh passion for prayer a fresh love for the house of God any spirit sitting on your spiritual advancement, I clear them out of the way. Now, let me prophesy over this cathedral and over the workforce. Uh, I spoke with your pastor a bit and he told me the marvelous work, amazing what the Lord is doing in and through this cathedral. And you are here, you are not part of this cathedral or you have your own church, you can receive by faith. Everything that is alive grows. There is nothing that remains at the same position. Therefore, Champions Cathedral, hear the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy from glory to glory to glory to glory to glory. From glory to glory to glory to glory to glory. From glory to glory to glory to glory to glory. From glory to glory to glory to glory. In the name of Jesus. This is my year of multiplied grace and influence. It's my year. I place a demand. It's a right because the truth. Right properly. Just set up in the depth of my youth. When the secrets of the Lord, there are secrets. Hear me, Koinonia. We do business in this kingdom with secrets. There are secrets.
we remain of the strength of mysteries pray is part of the meeting you're opening up your spirit lord i'm tired of cycles of failure what's my family there is a mystery that really bring deliverance hallelujah listen the bible says they are life to those who find them and only those who seek find they are life to those who find them and health to their flesh number three the third thing the lord asked me to share with us tonight very powerful is found in john chapter 5 please give us john chapter 5 we'll read verse 1 to 9 the lord wants to reveal a dimension of himself tonight as the helper listen listen the bible calls god a beniza you know what that means the helper of men when god comes in to help you in life you must succeed after this there was a feast of the jews and jesus went up to jerusalem we're reading down to verse 9 now there is at jerusalem by the sheep market a pool which is called in the hebrew tongue bethesda bethesda having five porches right verse 3 in this lay a great multitude of look at the kind of people there successful people don't have any business with that environment it's an environment that connoted weakness it says impotent folk of blind halt withered waiting for the moving of the water please pay attention for an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water and then whosoever excuse me whosoever then um first then first after troubling the water stepped in was made whole of whatever disease he had can you imagine that kind of frustration one person per year just like nigeria says you should wait until somebody retires or dies then they say there's vacancy you now come one person per year was a horrifying situation then the bible says there was a certain man no name there was a certain man which had an infirmity for how long 38 years after 38 years anything you cannot do is a concern do you agree with me after 38 years anything you cannot do is a concern at 38 years no child is a concern at 38 years you cannot at least move into your house is a concern at 38 years there's nothing meaningful you are doing is a concern the bible says this man had been there 38 years when jesus saw him lie now listen god is about to speak to you and knew that he had been there for how long for a the first revelation is that he knows you have been in that situation for a long time he knows and then the bible says he said unto him will thou be made whole verse 7 this is what many of us are saying tonight the important man answered sir i have no man i have no helper i would have gotten the job but i have no helper i would have stepped into another level in ministry but i have no helper he says i have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool 
And tonight, God wants to be a helper. He walked to him. And the man said, I have no helper. But he said, I will help you. You don't need the pool. Rise up. He can use another route. The formula had always been fall inside the water. But he said, let's ignore the water. I am here. Rise up. The formula has been be blessed after 20 years. But God is saying, I can follow another route with you. Such that in one year, I can do something in your life that will surprise you. He said, I have no man. And the Lord said, reveal to my people, I will manifest as a helper. When God helps a man, you will be surprised. The Bible says, Uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped. Marvelously helped. Part of the ministries of the Holy Spirit is as a helper. He comes in to help you. That's what grace is all about. That where your effort stops, and you say, Lord, if it's based on my qualification, oh, I read whatever it is, and God says, I am here. I can take you to another level. Oh, God, I'm here. I've been barren. They said, I don't even have a womb. And he says, I am here to help you. Who is God speaking to tonight? You really need help. Only an arrogant person will deny the need for help. I have been helped by people in my life. And I saw how easy my life became when they helped me. Are we together now? Watch this. Benga, come. I'm trying to lift this. And my hand is, I can't lift it. And then a helper comes. And sometimes he can even volunteer to carry everything. And it makes my life easy. The help of God can make a man's life easy. Please, let me preach to you for one minute. I have a responsibility over this house to tell you this and I must say it. Disabuse your mind from this satanic proposal coming from the media that Nigeria is in trouble. Economy, everybody shouting dollar. I'd like you to shout it, count me out. Say it. Shout it one more time. Listen, we are not irresponsible citizens. Don't get me wrong. We sympathize with what is happening in the nation. But if you dare let Satan speak to you, he will destabilize your creativity and crumble your life. People who have been irresponsible since before dollar have found a shield to explain their irresponsibility. Everybody says dollar is rising. Is it not in your Bible? When men say. Are we together now? It says you will say there is a lifting up. This is not the first time the economy of the world is going into trouble. The Bible says in the days of Joseph, it said money failed. Money failed. But there was a secret that was revealed to Joseph. There is what you hold on to that this year can be the most prosperous year in your life. Listen, God is looking for every opportunity to make a statement. Afford him your life. A Christian is not one who has just received Jesus into his life. A Christian, listen, is one who operates by the principles of the word of God. Our economy is different. And by economy, I don't just mean finances. Your health, whatever. There's Lassa fever. There's what again? Huh? There's Zika virus. There's which one again? They are, they are there. It's the one you know you are mentioning. What of the ones that are arrows that fly by day? Have they told you on TV? The Bible. Listen, listen. Psalm 90. Don't turn there. Our time is gone. Psalm 91 said, Thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day. The noisome pestilence. Right? There are diseases. You breathe them all around. It takes a superior revelation to keep you. I reject everything 
whose price has been paid on the cross. I will not pay another price again. Are we together? You must understand the implication of your oneness with Christ. So he wants to be your helper. Can you hand over your life and say, God, help me. Truly, I've tried by myself. If you don't help me, I will never get this admission. If you don't help me, I will never graduate. If you don't help me, my certificate will remain a piece of paper. I will keep mocking myself with my accolades. Listen, if no one has told you, let me tell you again, our world is a cruel and a wicked world. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to trouble anyone. You just need to be alive. That's a condition to be a potential victim. When the Lord told me this, I said, Lord, I first, I receive for myself. I receive for myself. He is my helper. When God comes in to help you, he can round off what has taken you 10 years 10 years of captivity let me tell you something it doesn't take time when jesus is there it doesn't take time you'll be watching the growth this is how it will live and you're saying where is it it's gone who is like him lion and the lamb seated on the throne you know why I raised that song? If you think there are many gods, I know that we claim we are not idols, but I will show you now that many of us have been practicing idolatry. You know why many people never believe God? We still have options. Your uncle still said, okay, let's just see what happens at the end of the month. So while you are saying, Lord, I trust you, what you mean is, Lord, I trust you through my uncle. Are we together now? Lord, I trust you through that, that CEO. I met him and he said uh, he will consider my promotion. Lord, I trust you through my job. God says he will bless you and you say, I know my salary is on his way coming. Lord, I trust you and you say, I know. I, there's, there's that consultant surgeon. He's coming in next week from India. And God is just arranging it such that he's coinciding with my need. Who is like him? The lion and the lamb seated on the throne. Mountains bow down. Every ocean rolls to the Lord our Lord. Praise Adonai From the rising of the sun To the end of every day Praise Adonai All the nations of the earth All the elders and the saints Sing praise I believe God though I'm a man of faith I believe God he says, I know whom I have believed. I've seen God help people even in this place. In this place. Brothers and sisters, there is a mystery of lifting. God can take a man. You see somebody today and God can lift that person. He, he, they looked at someone and said, when did, we can't see the process. When did Saul become a prophet? A man sleeps as a prisoner. But the next afternoon, he's already a prime minister. Oh, don't play with the God we serve. There is a mystery of the lifting of men. That you are about to die after one month. And after koinonia, you are not only alive, you are carrying the healing anointing. Who is this God that can bring speed to a man? I'm not motivating you. I know him there is a mighty God who can wipe the tears of people let me tell you this night before we pray just take away your mind from anything and everybody don't come to God with your calculation 
and say, Lord, my prayer request, I wrote my uncle, he must answer me. Leave that one. Let God choose. If God wants to use a chair to give you a breakthrough, let him give it to you. You've not read that God used a bed to bring bread for a man. Do you think if Elijah had an option, he would choose a bed? Was it not rock that brought water out from people? These things were not done in the spirit. It's just that we truly do not believe God. We think we do, but we don't. There are people who are sick here right now, but may never believe that God can touch them. Listen, don't be so into your challenges that you think tonight God cannot touch you. It's easy to say, okay, God, I'm happy. I, I thank you for what you are doing. No, you must insist. Hallelujah. Luke 18 verse 1, the Bible says, He spake this parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. He said there was an unjust judge. He didn't fear anybody, not God nor man. And there was this poor widow who said, Avenge me my adversary. And for a long time, the man would not respond. And she kept pestering him. When you place a demand with your faith, there is enough grace. There is enough anointing. You can argue this and watch other people stepping into their testimonies. But please tonight, wherever you are, inside and outside, don't make it look like you have come to waste your time tonight. Are we together? God has revealed to us that he's coming in as a helper. Bless you, my dear. As a helper. As a helper. This ministry has been helped by the Lord. Greatly helped by the Lord. I think it was last week I was sharing the testimony. We don't have the opportunity to share one tenth. And by the way, I want to challenge you. When God blesses you, don't keep quiet. You return back to where you receive the miracle and let the people of God know that this is what God has done. I shared the testimony last week. I think it was last week or two weeks ago. When Kaduna, after a meeting, just to have lunch briefly and then rush back, and I'm there and then a woman walks up to order a meal too and she's with a little son. Then I look at this woman and she was looking at me. She said, are you Pastor Joshua? I said, yes, ma. And then she greeted me. And I said, sorry, do I know you? And she smiled. She said, I'll tell you a little story. She said, two years ago, she came for counseling. As wretched, it was like she had come to the end of her life. I share this to encourage you hallelujah and um, she said everything was scattering she was a single mom with a child supposedly no hope for marriage nothing was working they were about to throw her out on her job and i prophesied to her and i said they were going to call her back and send her to the marketing department she should not be afraid and she said man of god that's exactly what happened and she looked at me and she said can you imagine what has happened in my life she just put her hand like this and I saw a ring. And she said, I just got married two months ago. And then, she said, I should look outside. And there was a clean E-class. She said, who would believe that in two years I'll be the one owning this? My life has changed. Brothers and sisters, if you will believe, God can change your life. If you will argue, he will not argue with you. He will leave you to continue until you find enough reasons. Please. I want you to be angry today as we pray and place a demand on the throne of heaven and say, Lord, you must answer me. Whenever I call you, you will answer me. Elijah called on you and you answered him. Moses called on you and you answered him. That's why I know Wherever I call you, you will answer me. Seated here, inside and outside, in all of the overflows, there are people with medical reports that if God does not visit them this night, they are dying for sure. I bring you a message of hope. The helper is in the house. There are families here who are in situations 
that will take a vigil for them to explain because the the situation is so scattered it doesn't have beginning and end they don't even know where the problem started from they know that they are in the middle of a situation but the helper when he comes he can make every crooked path straight there are people here trusting god for children there are people here trusting god for a turnaround breakthrough do you believe that god is stepping in the worship team sang so beautiful and they challenged us do you believe that god is able to step in we are going to pray right now you are not praying for your neighbor you are not praying on your request you are going to pray for yourself and say lord please don't let me go back the same way i came lift your voice and pray inside and outside please pray yes lord hallelujah 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 one more prayer point the power of god is so strong in this place i like you to say lord visit the foundation of my problem and set me free please lift your voice and pray what you think may be the problem may not really be the problem hallelujah we're going to sing this song just seven times and then i'll begin to minister my goodness i tell you god will do extraordinary things in this place i will praise him from everlasting everlasting to everlasting i will praise him from everlasting everlasting to everlasting I will praise him from, from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting no, 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 no. to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to Just everlasting. The voices. I will praise him from, from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Praise the miracle walker from who will step into your life. Everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to One more time. Lord, we will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Hallelujah. Madam, let me talk to you, please. Yes. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Hallelujah.
it's time for you to rejoice. The Lord is asking me to destroy witchcraft from your life and your family. Because you love the Lord, but there is a lot of oppression in your life. Is that true? Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that he's ending captivity today from your life. Right now, I command that spirit out by the power of the Holy Spirit. I stretch my hand. Something is leaving you. I'm seeing something being removed from your head. That's what I see happening. You will never be the same again. I command it out by the authority of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. And God is removing something from your stomach too. I'm seeing something leaving your stomach like a growth. I command it to go now. Right now. Right now. I will praise him from everlasting. Everlasting. Hallelujah. Everlasting. Madam, check yourself. Give her the mic. Check yourself right now. Your stomach area. Check yourself. What is happening? Look at this. Because I saw that there was something. If I don't pray for you, huh? There's a movement movement because i'm seeing something later they will tell you it's fibroid huh you are you are even afraid of going to the hospital the hospital yes because you think they will tell you it's fibroid that's really what they would have told you but today we cancel it in the name of the lord jesus christ the everlasting to everlasting gabriel i'm hearing the name gabriel 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 please let's save time gabriel you are at that row. You are at the back. That row at the back. You are a gentleman at the back. That row there. Where is the person, please? Come out quickly. You are wearing something like brown. Brown shirt or something. Is there someone like that? Who is that? Come. I will praise him from everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting. Lord, I will praise you from everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting Lord, I will praise you From everlasting Everlasting to everlasting Lord, I will praise you From everlasting Everlasting to everlasting Where's your mother? Eh? Because I'm seeing another woman Your mother is here The Lord is saying I should speak to her Light is living from you outside there is a woman outside. She's your mother. Where is she? Is she here? Or at, not outside. At, at the, is he at the edge of the wall or outside? Some, who is that, please? Is she here? Come, mama. God is wiping the tears of your family tonight. Everlasting to everlasting. Lord, we will praise you. From everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting. you're welcome please stand up this woman has suffered i'm looking at this woman and i saw a load on your head that is reaching the roof and she's carrying it alone mama can you hear me look at this woman crying you see some of you don't know why god this is not just showmanship there are people here just seated close to you if they tell you their stories your own story will look like child's play because this woman has suffered mama you're a good woman but listen listen where where are you are you in zaria here yes, sir. in zaria what do you do I, so, so. I, so, I need to pray because i'm i'm seeing this is a cause i'm a widow i know i'm going to pray for you do you know why i call this boy they want to kill him that's why i want to pray for him they cut. He might have they cut. This way might have they cut. I go yesterday. Yesterday we go. They say all the ten people come back again. Eh? What cut? He get problem. He might have they cut. If I don't pray for this boy as small as he is, they are going to kill him. 
do I know you are, have a case in the court? Why would we call somebody? Like, don't, don't be afraid, mama, because this thing will even cause you problem. Um, young man, I will pray for you. Mommy, look at me. This thing is a cause. Huh? The same way they killed your husband, they want to kill this boy and leave you in misery. Huh? Mama, I'm going to pray for you. There is a God that reveals secrets to men. Because I'm seeing a load right to the roof on your head. You are carrying it alone. I will pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God is wiping your tears. I'm seeing a mother outside. The Lord is showing me a mother outside. A woman outside. Uh, it's like you are wearing her tie. But it's not like her tie. Same material. Her tie like a normal. This thing. This, this, it's, a, it's an elderly woman outside sitting just by this side of the window. Please, I need to speak to her. If there is somebody like that. Let's have... A mother outside the Lord is showing me mama I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus for God to change your story I don't know what is in the court but in the name of Jesus we will change it how old are you you are 14 you will serve the Lord in the name of Jesus you believe that where are you from mama from Edo. you are from where Edo, from Okwela. where are you from you are from Edo State. That's what the Lord is telling me. Because the same thing he's delivering two of you from. You see that? Mama, I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. God is destroying that spirit. Father, I lay my hands on our mommy. The back pain. Look at me, Mama. The back pain you have. It 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 will be healed now. Amen. Hold my hand. Amen. Look at what is happening to her. Mama, shout Jesus loud. Jesus! Father, hold my hands for your glory. Mama, look at me. Look at me. You see something like fire moving at your back right now. That pain is living right now. In the name of Jesus. Do what you couldn't do. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Look at, look at you. Help her. Cover her. It will never return to you in the name of Jesus. And I pray for you, my friend. I'm seeing you, but I'm seeing two heads. This is a misidentity. The devil wants to misrepresent you, but I'll pray for you. Huh? Your passion for God. Have good friends. If your friends are not good, leave them this night. May God give you good friends. In the name of Jesus Christ, grace for you. That anointing comes upon you, takes you to a new dimension. This is the woman, Mama, you are welcome. Let's celebrate Jesus. I'll pray for you, but there is another woman I'm talking about. There is another Mama outside who needs to come. Mama, I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus. You have a daughter. Yes. Where is she? She's outside. She's outside. Call her. Come. Daughter, where are you? Please come. Everlasting Shim. To everlasting. What's her name? Shim. Shim. Please, you had your name rush and come in. Our time is gone. Who is this? I told her to have the one. No, the woman I'm talking about has her tie. Um, it's not the same as the material. It's not the same as the material she's wearing. I'm looking for a head tie that looks close to it. Ladies, now the normal scarf that you carry and tie. But I will pray for you. Anybody that has come out, I'll pray for you. I don't know why she's here, she is, but I'll pray for you. You are already out. I'll pray for you. Please, let's, let me just minister to those that are here. I'll pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Please, you can return back to your seat. Let me talk to you. Your daughter? Uh, 
Mama, I'm going to pray for you. The Lord is visiting your family in the name of Jesus Christ. He's visiting your family. And look at me, my dear. God is taking delay from your family. Tell your mother. This is your grandmother, right? Huh? Who is like your mother? She is oh, my I see. I, I, oh, I get the story now. Your real mother is dead. This is your grandmother, but she's like your mother now. Yes. Oh, I see. Because the Lord is saying, I should tell your mother, whoever is that, that she's going to lift her. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Mama, God is lifting you and is wiping your tears. And the Lord is telling me that he's adding years to your life. Yes. Believe me. Who is this? Your what? Sister, but she have um, son and daughter. You have a daughter. She have a daughter, but she's my elder sister. She's your elder sister. Yes, sir. Okay, I'll talk with you. We have to really rush. Mama, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. The God I serve will bless you. He will honor you. What do you do, my dear? I'm a student. Where? In ABU here. ABU here. I'll pray for you. God is bringing favor upon your life. Look at me. You will really be a blessing to mama. And make sure you bless her with all your heart. In the name of Jesus. May that grace come upon you. Right now in the name of Jesus. Bless you mama. Come. Come. Two of you. You love Jesus. Are you part of them? Come. You love Jesus. No, you are stubborn. Come. You need to be prayed for. Come. You don't love Jesus. You are, you are very stubborn. But Jesus loves you. You are a stubborn boy. You have bad friends. You don't listen. We have to pray for you. There is a spirit disturbing you. You need to be delivered. Let her go right now. Out! Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands. I command that devil. Hmm? They want to make your sister mad. Eh? What's wrong with her? It's mad, sir. She's mad. It's mad. Yes, sir. This is madness. She will be free right now. She came here mad. You are joking. This is koinonia. I command that spirit. She's mad. Out. You must go right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Release her hands. Release her hands. Hold me. Hold me. I command that madness. How can a lady like this be mad for God's sake? I command that spirit, they must leave you right now. In the name of Jesus, I set you free by the spirit of the Christ. Jesus, for your mercy, for your glory. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. This lady is not just mad. This was supposed to be an initiation. Hold on, please. This is a serious issue. This is supposed to be an initiation into the occult. This is not just mad, like occult, fly. This is occult. An occultic thing. It's not just madness. And you, if they don't pray, you don't listen, you are small, but God will help you, eh? Don't be angry. You have to leave your bad friends. You hear me? If not soon now, you start taking a... What's that thing? That cough syrup. Huh? You hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Please. Don't be embarrassed. We are not, we are not here to embarrass people. You get what I'm saying? We are not here to embarrass people. I have to pray for you. What do you do? Um, I'm, I'm vibing in Sokoto. Huh? I'm staying with my elbow daughter in Sokoto. No, that's not what you are doing. Hold on. Why am I seeing a clipper? I'm piping in Sokoto. You say you are staying with your brother. I'm seeing a clipper. Come. You two, two of you, God needs to help you. You are a good boy, but there, there's bad influence around your life. God even needs to visit your brother in Sokoto. Eh? You believe what I'm telling you? Yes, you came from Sokoto? Yes, sir. All the way? Yes, sir. This one, where did he come from? He's staying with my mom here. Yeah. He's staying with your mom. Is your mom here? No, sir. She's not here. I have to pray for you. Huh? Um, 
when I'm when I make the altar call, I'll make the altar call. Once you just hear the altar call, just run and come out. Hmm? It's time to be very serious. Jesus Christ will help you. You are a great person. Huh? You are a great person. You don't have any business doing what you are doing now. What took you to Sokoto? I went to school. Are you a student? Yes, I have not gotten to admission yet. Your school is not Sokoto. Come back. Don't think somebody will manipulate you and do wrongs for you to get this and that because what you want to do is not very good. Eh? It's not a godly thing you want to do to get admission. Let's do things correctly. Huh? What do you want to study? Computer science. This is not computer science. I'm seeing IT. Something that has to do with, with IT. And God will bless you, but you need to settle down. Because the way you are desperate for admission now, you can you do everything. Have you written jam? Um, you are writing jam. On Tuesday. Huh? Tuesday. Well, I won't say it here. Be careful. Just be careful. You hear what I'm saying, Abi? You know what I'm saying. Yes, be careful. Eh? Because you can't want God to help you. And you are already doing arranging. You know what I'm saying now? All these funny things people do for jam. What is not your own is not your own. I'm not embarrassing you. The Lord will step in and the Lord will bless you. Just hold that lady and let me minister to you. Who is this? Please, if I don't... Yes, Mama, Mama, come. Please, if I don't call you, you don't come out. Mama, I want to pray for you. You do business. Because you are supposed to do... There is business that God has been putting in your heart. Huh? Is that true? God, I see you do business. What you are getting from civil service is not enough to take care of you. And God wants to open a door for you. A business door. You understand what I'm saying? I'm going to pray for you because God wants to really give you prosperity this year. Okay, thank you. Regina, Regina. I hear a name Regina. Regina, Lord, in the name of Jesus, step into our mother's life. Do a miracle for her right now in the name of Jesus. I hear a name, Regina. Regina. Please, who is that? Do we have anybody? Outside. Regina. You are outside. There's nobody. We just move to the next case. You are Regina. Come, what do you do? I'm a saloonist. You are a saloonist. I need to pray. Bad luck. God wants to take away bad luck from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody's marriage was cancelled. Come out, please. Your marriage. Who is that? No, not you. Somebody's marriage. I'll pray for you. Don't worry. You were supposed to. You've even started the arrangement. They just cancelled it like this. And your heart is pain. Please come out. I want to pray for you. Let's just flow as the Holy Spirit is giving us grace. You are Regina. In the name of Jesus, God is giving you favor. Please don't sit back. This is a serious issue. In the name of Jesus, I lay hands on you. Please go back. I don't have to speak over your life. Once I lay hands on you, what do you do? I just graduated. Eh? Graduated from school. You just graduated. I have to pray for you because you love God. Yes, sir. Mind is who is supposed to they've started your marriage planning. Please come, my sister. I, I don't mean to embarrass you. You get what I'm saying? Is to speak over your life. You too. What category are you here for? Huh? Regina, okay, I'll pray for you. Who has sickle cell? S there's a sickler here now. You are the one. Please indicate, eh, sweetheart. Come. Hold my hands. Look at me. Father, please do a miracle for this lady. You have changed several genotypes in this place. Change her genotype right now. In the name of Jesus. From SS to AA. Do it for her in the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, let me pr please. Um, are you based in Zaria here? Are you part of our prayer department? Yes, sir. Please be serious eh? and pray because uh, it's not just prayer department. After Koinonia, you can meet the media 
and listen to the messages they will help you you love jesus but your mindset is still very serious and you can do anything especially men so please you will listen to that message and the lord will help you huh in the name of jesus christ my dear come i don't know what happened i don't want to ask you please don't feel embarrassed huh when do you want to settle down it was supposed to be december last year it was supposed to be december last year what happened you called me and said i should forget about everything the guy called you and just told you he's not doing again yes sir. did he give you a reason why no reason okay let me tell you weep not god saved you from heartache are you hearing what i'm saying please see let me tell you if you don't have the eyes of the spirit you will be fighting god not knowing are we together now i'm sorry to say don't feel bad don't feel embarrassed you see that guy it was three of you you are not the only one you have been sensing that there's another lady the other lady promised to do him something if he doesn't leave you that's why he, why he quietly called out of fear and all of that that he's, he may be a sincere person but him and women is even a spirit he needs help let me pray for you that god will bring the man he has destined you're a very nice lady father in the name of jesus christ i lay my hands upon her father send him to her life the man a, a responsible and god-fearing man in the name of jesus christ and for your shame may my god give you double in the name of jesus christ amen and amen let me just talk to two people and then we'll... madam please come that woman can i talk to you please clear the way for her madam please come please let's pray go ahead and pray pray in the spirit say father visit me madam please look at me i have to pray for you something is tying your finances down completely yes sir. that's the major reason why you came yes sir. is that true yes, you were asking the lord to visit your finances yes, sir. because everybody will see you now and think things are just working but the truth is nothing is really working yes, sir. you need a serious miracle in that area that's true sir. is that true yes sir. are you married yes but now i'm out of hold on place. don't worry you don't, just answer you don't have to embarrass yourself because there is a spirit huh this spirit brings bad luck on your life people come to you and then in a few weeks or months they will now fight you this is still what happened in your marriage it's true, sir. because the man has gone yes sir eh? yes, is that true are you in your yes, husband's house now no sir you are not in your husband's house the yes, lord is bringing a miracle for you amen what do you do i'm a hairdresser your hairdresser do you believe in tithing yes sir you tithe no don't feel embarrassed this is the one thing the devourer is marching in and out of your life because tithing is not in place please believe it it's not a gimmick by men of god is she your friend because i'm seeing light from you to her you know her eh? why have you not been talking to her about tithing even last week you discussed with her No, 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 don't feel bad. Madam, please, look at me. Tithing is not a gimmick by men of God. Believe me. You understand what I'm saying? It's the access point the devil is using. Where is your husband, the man now? He's at home now. Has he married? I will discuss with you, eh, madam. This is not something we will say in public. It's a very serious issue. But I need to pray for you. But for now, I need to pray for you. There is bad luck. And we need to pray against it. Please don't feel bad. God is about to change your life. Please hold my hands. In the name of Jesus. I command that spirit. See, there is a spirit that is making this thing happen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go. Release her right now. That spirit leaves you. Madam, go and prosper. You will prosper in a way that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Um, 
there's a baby that is sick. I have to pray for that baby. I'm seeing a baby that is very sick. Very small baby. Sick. Your child? Is she sick? Yes, sir. What's wrong with her? She's having difficulties in breathing. Difficult in breathing. Difficulty in breathing. How old is the baby? It's five months. Five months. This is not the only baby. There's another one. Come, come, I'll pray with you. What did the doctors tell you about the baby? Syndrome. They said it's what? That is Down syndrome patient. Down syndrome? Yes, sir. We soon need... Doctor, ah, you're a doctor now. Down syndrome. At least I know, I don't know what causes it, but I know how it... Do... Please come, come, come and talk to us. Give us some little education. Let's cast this. Um, it's a congenital disorder. And the difficulty in breathing is most likely coming from a congenital heart disease. It mostly manifests with congenital heart disease. Then there are other um, manifestations too. From the fishy, you can um, see some of the manifestations also. I don't know what you said, but all but I know. <laughs> most likely, the difficulty in breathing is coming from a congenital heart disease. We are going to pray. This, this baby... Right? How many of you believe that this child... Ah, God, do a miracle. In the name of Jesus. Hold him. Am I holding him right? Jesus Christ. Father... By the blood of Jesus, do a miracle in this child. We change this situation in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Spirit, let there be a miracle in Jesus' name. I'm seeing one more child though. Who is that? Let's go. Please hold the child. You are the one who needs the healing first. Just hold the child. I hope the child will not cry. I have to pray for you. Huh? Something is really fighting you. Huh? This is witchcraft. Let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command you, you know my voice. In the name of Jesus, she's been translated from the kingdom of darkness into light. And you must let her go. I'm seeing this lady in the realm of the spirit like a tree that is, is refused from moving. Hold my hands. You must be free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those dreams, those oppressions, I come against them in Jesus' name. Let's pray for the baby. What's wrong with the baby? She has been coughing and stooling. Coughing and stooling. Baby, how are you? In the name of Jesus Christ, we speak to you. No more coughing. In the name of Jesus Christ, perfection in your body. I release the power of the Holy Spirit upon you. Right now, in the name of Jesus. The power flows through this baby. In Jesus' name. I hope the usher will help out. Because I'm sensing this anointing even on her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Baby, we take away everything that is not of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me. Where is the man in your life? It's one of the answers. Okay. I'll pray with you. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing something that is serious, but I'll talk, I'll talk about it. Okay? The Lord is showing me something that is quite serious. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. There are 13 people here. There is a strong influence of confusion and stagnation. Please listen. 13 people here right now, inside and outside. I'm going to pray for you right now. Wherever you are, as I begin to pray, it's like fire 
it will come upon you confusion stagnation at least 13 people i see in the spirit please lift your hands don't say anything just lift your hands i'll do the praying let's just flow the way the holy spirit is praying lord jesus i'm praying right now by the ministry of angels 13 people by the influence of the spirit i stand under this apostolic anointing and i pray right now wherever you are inside and outside right now as i pray that fire starts coming upon them right now right now bring them out 13 people 13 people by the power of the holy spirit i end it right now there are still people outside, inside. That two people by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Bring them out, please. Right to the back. Right to the back. Right to the back. Right to the back. I'm seeing fire. It's like a spirit that would jump out of you. Right to the back, inside, outside. I command that confusion outside. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is resting on people. Confusion. All the overflows. In the name of Jesus, confusion must come to an end. Right now. Delay. Lift your hands. I tell you, there will be a mighty baptism outside. Outside, at the count of three, I want you to shout, Jesus. When you shout it, I see altars on fire. Are you ready now? Outside, one, two, three. Bring them. Bring them. Fire is falling outside. The Bible says, while men slept, hear me, there are things that tie the destinies of men. Jesus already paid the price. That's why we are doing what we are doing. The authority is that of Jesus Christ. Bring them in. Now listen. Listen. My goodness. You're going to lift your hands for your family. I see the angels of the Lord bringing deliverance for families. Listen. At the count of three, I tell you wherever you are, I like you to shout Jesus with all your heart. Some of you, you are representing an altar of God for your family. And the moment you do that, in the name of Jesus, there will be a miracle. One, Father for families, let the soul of the spirit go from the north to the south, east and the west of every family. Right now at the count of three. One, two, three. Jesus! Families, 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 the sword of judgment. Pray, pray. Make sure you're praying. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Now those outside, listen. I came out because your destiny must open up. Lift your hands. 
I came out to bring the atmosphere of God's presence. Hear me? There is no one here whose destiny has been tied that that spirit will remain. I'm going to, listen, I'm going to begin to walk around. My goodness, I see angels by my left and right. As I begin to move across this place, the fire of God will start falling. Right now, I stand under this apostolic office and I declare, my hands, right now, right now, right now, I command that right now, right now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, fire, 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 every spirit, every devil, from my left, my right, outside, outside, my left, my right, every devil, right now, I stretch my hands, every spirit, go, 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 I command every spirit, right now, release them, release them, right now, release them, release them, release them. Release them. Release them. Release them. Hallelujah. 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 Those of you here, lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm going to shout Jesus just two times. And I see like a tornado. It's like the spirit will start moving right to the back. That's what the Lord is saying I should shout. There are spirits, time men. It's your time to go now. Jesus. Get ready now. Get ready now. Jesus. Go, go, go out, out right now. My left and my right, I release my spirit right now. Right now, right now, right now. Those spirits, I command them to leave right now in the name of Jesus. Out, 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 out by the power of the Holy Spirit. I command right now, right now. I stretch my hands towards you. Every force tying you down. In the name of Jesus. It must release you right now. Right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now listen. Those of you outside don't think you are missing anything at all. That's why I came out. I'm going to all the overflows. Those of us here. You may be outside, but let me tell you something. God will step into your destiny. Please lift your hands because I'm seeing chains from where this camera is right to the end. I'm seeing chains. Lift your hands. I want you to shout Jesus just once at the count of three. And everybody under that influence must go right now. Please be careful with anybody close to you so that you don't stampede them. Father, I see chains of bondage. But you organize this meeting to recover destinies. Therefore, at the count of three, it will come like fire on some of you. One, two, three. Right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. I cast that spirit. I cast that spirit. I cast that spirit. Let that go right now. In the name of Jesus. 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 The Lord is giving you a new song. A new song. The Lord is wiping your tears. You on green, lift your hands. Take it now. Receive right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Mama, the Lord is saying I should tell you he's wiping your tears. God is wiping your tears. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is saying what you could not do in five years. You, Mama, in five years. He's making to happen for you in one year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sir. I have to pray. There's delay in your life. The Lord wants me to break the spirit of delay. I hope you are not embarrassed, sir. No. Hold my hand, sir. Something will happen to you remarkably right now. Take it! That devil of delay. Out of his life right now. Out! Out! I don't know who this man is, but he's stepping into a new level. 
God is wiping the spirit of delay. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing in the spirit the name Eboyi, Eboyi State. Someone here from Eboyi State. God is bringing a miracle at my back. That person is at my back. Eboyi State. God is bringing a miracle wherever that person is. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Who is Margaret? Margaret. I'm hearing the name Margaret. You are in this place. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a lady here, Margaret. I'm seeing the Lord is shining. Who is that? Come, Margaret. You are Margaret. Look at me. The Lord is wiping the tears of your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that spirit to leave your family right now. I see a family of five ladies. None is married. A family of five ladies. The Lord is showing me. Five ladies. None is married. None is married. He's on the wheelchair. How long have you been? Seven years. Seven years. What happened to you? You were shot. I'm a military personnel. Oh, you're a military personnel. Yes, sir. And you've had to leave the army because of it. Or you are still there. The service, but then you need to walk. Yes, sir. Wow. You can't feel. No, I cannot feel. You can't feel this leg right it's now. A spinal cord injury. Oh, it's a spinal cord. A lumbar problem. Yes, sir. I'll pray with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a family of five ladies, please. I have to talk five ladies none of them is married five ladies none is married no one among them is married god needs to do a miracle please make sure that we confirm the situation five ladies so that we don't say yes. we are faking it please make sure yes yes five ladies where yes, are you from yes i'm from edo state you are from edo state yes yes you too five you two you are together oh you are his sister you are his friend so why are you here with him to back him up oh five minutes yes okay okay i'm going to pray for you right now hallelujah in the name of jesus i command that spirit there is a spirit that brings delay in your family and I take authority over that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ right now there's somebody around here you are into book selling bookstore business God wants to increase somebody's bookstore business here I'm sensing it I don't know if there's anybody here you are into selling of books the Lord is saying prophesy increase to that person oh Jordan is you father in the name of Jesus I pray for Jordan. You step into a new dimension. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you. Ah, but you are not related to him. You just came out. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for the people here. I hope they can hear me. Hallelujah. There's somebody I need to pray for here. Call that lady call that lady you don't think distance is a barrier believe me god can fish you out from anywhere look at me i know you are standing by the fence but god is wiping your tears he's giving you a new song right now in the name of jesus i release that anointing upon you right now in the name of jesus christ god has answered your prayer you are praying that i minister to you you and your friend where is your friend where is he lift up your hands two of you you will step into an anointing uh, hold your hands together in the name of Jesus look I stretch my hands right now let a fire come upon both of you right now right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ you step into a strange dimension let me talk to the people here I want everybody to be able to know that when you come for this meeting it doesn't matter where you are God can visit you no don't worry just just leave the person grace i hear a name grace 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 there's someone with the name grace is there someone like that grace grace i need to pray for grace 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 and i'm hearing garba 
Garba. I'm hearing a name Garba. God is ministering to somebody. I don't know if it's a son name or a name Garba. In the name of Jesus. Garba, where are you? Your name is Garba? Your son name is Garba. Where is your dad? He's outside. He's in Saudi Arabia. He's, a, he's, he's in Saudi Arabia. Because I'm seeing God is saying, look at me. God is saying I should tell you that there's going to be increase for your family. Okay. And so, are you hearing yeah. what I'm saying? Yes. You have to be very serious with me. You are going to be very wealthy. You are going into oil and gas. Amen. Are you hearing me? I don't know you. I don't know anything about you. But I'm seeing that you are going into oil and gas. And God is going to honor you. God will bring a man into your life. Bless you. I'm seeing three people here. You are writing jam next week. Jam. No, no, not everybody. Hold on, hold on. Just relax. I'm going to pray for everybody. Here, where I'm standing. You are writing jam. Three people. writing jam somebody is writing it for the fourth time that person you are the one this will be the last time do you know me come, come and stand what please remind me in case i forget this jam thing we have to settle it once and for all please people are writing this thing again and again i curse that spirit this overflow, these ones looking at me, please lift your hands. Not these ones, those ones, exactly. Please lift your hands. Please don't think that because of the distance, all right, God cannot touch you. There is a reason why I'm coming out with this because sometimes inside is just a fraction of those outside. And I want you to feel a sense of belonging to know that God is able to visit you and to minister to you. Hallelujah. Those outside here there are at least two of you fire is coming upon you right now i see the power of darkness being broken lord where are they right now i stretch hands in the name of jesus christ i stand upon this anointing wherever they are Father, there is a lady right now it's like fire is coming upon you right now right now right now in the name of jesus christ that fire is coming upon you all of you standing here i prophesy to you in the name that is above all names hear me whatever has tied your progress i'm talking to those here i stand under this anointing and i declare a change of story right now benway state there's someone here from benway benway um benway state you have an elder brother Please make sure that you don't come out. We are not faking this thing. Please, you have another brother. Where? I'm going to pray for you. God is visiting your family. Visiting your family in strange ways. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is saying, I should tell you that if you seek him with all your heart, he will surprise you. I hear what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm seeing a lot of families here under financial stagnation and the Lord is saying release them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please listen, listen. Please believe what I'm saying. Don't come and waste your time. God brought you here to wipe your tears. Any family here, you have tried and tried and tried. Doors have refused to open. I open it for you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I see somebody here. You are looking for a job. June. Um, you are looking for a job in Abuja by June. I see a job coming. This is what God is saying. I don't know who I'm speaking. But God is many somebody. Your name is Grace. Where is your mother? Kogi State. I need to pray for you because there's take authority over that spirit in the name of Jesus I need to pray for somebody two of you, I want you to follow me, you smoke this thing um, what's the name of that it's not just stab out weed please, don't be embarrassed two of you, you really smoke it you love the Lord, but this thing is a challenge, please follow me your deliverance has come, you smoke weed your own is not just a uh, 
all that cigarette please don't be embarrassed follow me and i'll i'll pray for you and brother here listen listen god is speaking to you you came for koinonia but you left a lady in your room you left a lady in your room you told her you are coming for koinonia and you will come back please don't destroy yourself and destroy that lady because your going back now is to get that lady pregnant and you'll be in trouble. God is saving you. Send her a text now to go home. You are born again. One, once I make altar call, wherever you are, please march to the front. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The power of God is coming on some ladies here. I've seen a, some at least three ladies. Severe menstrual pain. This is not, this is something that for one of you is in your family. Lift your hands, please. Just here, this region. Right now, the fire of God is going to come on some ladies. I take authority over that spirit. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now. Right now. I curse that spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. A lady will feel like fire on her stomach right now. It will come upon you like fire. I take authority over it right now in the name of jesus christ and there is a lady that the lord is showing me for four months you have not seen your period four months you have not seen your period i think you need to talk to your friend to help you because before the end of this meeting is returning in the name of jesus christ i see someone's family um like relative in prison there's somebody here like that in prison one of your relatives i don't know if it's in a police station or prison something like that god is doing a miracle who is that there's somebody like that you're the one come who is in prison your nephew are you sure which prison is in gobe state how long is his tenure Five years. Five years. How many years has he done? One. One year. We are going to pray for mercy. You will not reach five years. We are going to bring him out. You believe that? Yes. Lift your hands for him. And let the name of Jesus step in and give him. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lift your hands, my dear. Look at me. I'm seeing a crown being put on your head. You. This. Are you hearing me? God is bringing you into a new dimension of grace. Father, I stretch my hands to her right now. Right now. That fire comes upon you right now in the name of Jesus. Let me talk to the lady with the pink cap. You, lift your hands. Beauty for ashes. That's what God is saying is bringing. Beauty for ashes in the name of Jesus Christ. God is bringing a restoration to your family. Your family's experience is for a restoration. You. In the name of Jesus. Joseph. Joseph, I hear you. Joseph. Joseph, you are wearing a short dress. Joseph, you are wearing a short dress. Joseph. You are in the crowd. I will pray for you. But the Joseph is inside the crowd here. God wants to lift you. Lift your hands. Something will come on you. You are a student. You are a copper. God is wiping In the name of Jesus Christ, a new dimension of grace. You are Joseph. Look at me. What are you studying? Are you a student? You are done with German. What do you want to study? Agri. You are going to be a businessman. And God is going to honor you. Too. In the name of Jesus. Joseph John, where is he? Come. Why did you stop doing business? There's an anointing for you. Go back and the Lord will honor you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come. Where is your mother? Where is the village? The Lord is saying, I should tell you, the way he will lift you, all those who know you will be surprised. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord will lift you. Eh? Because I'm seeing your story similar to that of Esther in the Bible. Go and read the story of Esther. How that God can pick somebody. 
who supposedly nothing. Someone's sister here is barren. Who is that person? Barren. The Lord is saying it's time for the child. I will praise you. Not you or your sister. And I will your praise sister is barren. How many years? Six years. You follow me. How, how many years? Eleven years. Two of you come. The Lord is responding. You too. Please follow me. Madam. Look at me. Confusion is ending in your life. Come. Come. The Lord is bringing an end to confusion in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, everyone, lift your voice and pray and say, Father, you are changing my story. There is a habit God is setting you free from. It's a terrible habit right now. Be free. It's not a habit you should practice at all. God is setting you free from it. Somebody here has eye problems. No, 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 not I, I'm waiting for you. There's somebody here with eye problem. Your eye pains you if you see light. Who is that person? I'm gonna bring status is changing. No more design. You get discouraged easily. I'm on my God way was saying that you should be sure not be discouraged. Who is the person? Lay your hands on your hands. In the name of Jesus. No more Let's go. I'm on my way to better Those days. Those things, please follow me. Status is changing. No more denial. The Lord is bringing me to a new dimension. I'm on my way to better days. I'm on my way. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Lord wants to release certain kinds of miracles right now. Who are all these people following me, please? Hold on. The Lord wants to release fruitfulness. Please be sensitive, everybody, inside and outside. He's using children as a point of contact, but this will affect every other area's life. Every other body's. Um, how many years? Six. Six years. Your sister, yes. where is she? She's in Zara. How about you? 11 years. Oh my God. My auntie. 11 years. Ah. Why didn't they come for the miracle service? She's in Abuja. No, 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 no. Please, don't, don't just come out carelessly. Please, please. Okay, come out. The Lord is asking me to let you come out. Please. I'm going to pray for the sick, but barrenness issue. Let's deal with it right now. Tonight, I want God to step into people's lives. I think you should honor what Jesus is doing in this place. Look at the number of issues. Believe me, when I tell you there will be testimonies. If you are standing here for yourself, just move this way. If you're standing for yourself, move this way, please, so that I know. Please, just move here. I will worship him forever, love him forever, because this is God is to do. Please, this way, just let there be a separation. My, my brothers and sisters, please see how many people the devil is tying down. The Lord is bringing you into an anointing. It's a healing anointing that is coming on you. I see an angel of the Lord pouring like oil upon your head. You, you looking at me. Something is being activated in your spirit, man. Step into that oil, that fountain. It's that healing anointing. Koinonia, please, I want you to know that this is a platform
that God has created to wipe the tears of men. As we gather there every week, God is doing something. Please be patient with God tonight and let him do something in your life. Because I have to pray for the sick. I'm only going to lay hands on those who are standing here for themselves. Because I want them to return with a testimony. But for all of us who are connecting for other people, you, lift your hands. You, out! Right now! Right now! It's a curse upon the family. You are going by the spirit of the living God. Right now, you are a devil of darkness. I see you in the spirit and there must be that release right now. Please, those of us here, talk to the Lord on behalf of your loved ones and say, Lord, you must change your story. You must change your story. Those of us here, I'm going to lay hands on you by you. Please pray. Thank you, Jesus. All right, lift your hands, everyone, here. This category, just lift your hands, please. For time's sake, I may not be able to lay hands on you, but I want you to believe. Something is happening to you that is happening to your loved ones. You need to call them and believe. Many of you are receiving for your loved ones. My goodness, I hear the cry of children. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a miracle right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Receive it for your loved ones. Receive it right now. I open wombs, I open wombs, I open wombs. In the name of Jesus, I open wombs. I command a remembrance. A remembrance right now. In the name of Jesus. Right here, we declare miracle children. For your loved ones. Miracle children. They take in right now. And nine months after now, they give birth to their children. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please go back to your seat. God bless you. God bless you. Those who are standing here, I'm going to pray for you. Please make sure you are married. If you are not married, please don't embarrass yourself. Go back to your seat. Praise the Lord. Let me pray for those who are standing for themselves. We have to pray. That's why you came. Hallelujah. Remember the testimony that God gave a woman who had been barren for eight years. How many years? Eight solid years. And God gave her triplets. They are still alive till today. Triplets. Triplets. Please, I want you to believe God. If you are standing husband and wife, no problem. You are standing for your wife, no problem. Just make sure you are married. That's the only thing we are saying. Please. I'm going to pray for you. Stretch your hands over them and pray because we will release fruitfulness right now. In the name of Jesus. I don't care what the problem is. Jesus is stepping in. My confidence, the source of my strength, are you. the strength of my life, are you. my hope and my joy, are you. Hey, my confidence. Are you. I looked around and I suddenly realized that you've been so good to me. Your mercy is everlasting, undenying, overwhelming. I tell you, celebrate God because this will end. Who am I that you are mindful of me? Who am I that you hear my call when I call you? Who am I that you are mindful of me? Who am I that you hear my call? The source of my strength, are you? The strength of my life, are you? My hope and my joy, are you? Hey, my confidence, are you? The source of my strength, are you? The strength of my life, are you? My hope and my joy, are you? My confidence, hey, I am.
name of Jesus, I release this miracle. Madam, go and return back with your child. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let this womb be open. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let there be a miracle. In the name of Jesus. Madam, you are coming back with a testimony. What is there has been removed. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord wipes your tears. Right now in the name of Jesus. Where is your husband? Sir, please stand near your wife. There's a reason why the Lord is asking. Can you hold her hands? Hold on. I don't care what the doctors say. You are returning with your testimony. The Lord is giving you a baby girl and then a baby boy. I know you want a boy, but God is giving you a baby girl first and then a boy in the name of Jesus. Make sure you come and testify. God bless you. In the name of Jesus, a miracle, a miracle. But there are still three more cases we'll deal with very fast. We'll pray for this just for one minute and then I'll begin to prophesy. There are people who have not yet received what they came for here. Please, just be patient with us. Please, this is a miracle service, right? So that we can justify our coming. Please, let's rise. We'll just do this in one minute. I'd like you to believe. Stretch your hands here right now. Stretch your hands in one minute and let's pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands towards the prayer request and let's pray. Prophesy over it. Your request is here. Lord, we turn it into a testimony. Please make sure those outside their requests are here too. If they are here to collect your request, just wave it inside and outside and somebody will come and attend to you. Are you praying? Prophesy. Father, this must become a testimony in my life. This must become a testimony in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you answer prayers in this place. Shebakarota supra di bosh. Let there be miracles, O oh God. Let there be breakthroughs, O oh God. Supernatural miracles. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Miracles. Upon miracles. Miracles. Visit everyone. Visit issues of concern. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 I prophesy over this request in the name that is above all names. That every request represented here, no matter how impossible it is, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let every dead situation here come back to life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit, my God, we sang that you are not a man. Turn every captivity here. Turn every captivity here. In the name of Jesus. Now, I want to prophesy to us. Please lift your hands. Um, you don't have to bring them out. It will be... Just give me 10 more minutes, but it's going to be extensive prophecy. Extensive prophecy. I want to speak to you because... I know the things that I see things in the spirit that have not yet been received. We have to pray in the name of Jesus. Please, I want you to believe God and lift your hands. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. The Lord is starting off with direction. There are people here who came praying, Lord, what is the next step of my destiny? Wherever you are, I'm prophesying to you. As I speak, fire will come upon you just on your head. Some of you will start feeling fiery sensations on your ears. The Lord is bringing direction right now. I prophesy by the power of the Holy Spirit. 
receive it right now receive it right now right now right now supernatural direction shake parotopa help that guy in the name of jesus every confusion in your life those outside make sure you participate someone is asking oh god what is the next step i pray by this anointing receive direction right now receive direction right now in the name of jesus someone's marital destiny is under siege right now in the name that is above all names an anointing a yoke breaker anointing i prophesy receive it right now i open those doors right now inside outside i open those doors right now hallelujah there's someone praying you are asking god for money for rent rent the lord is telling me that between now and monday morning there is a miracle coming for you there is a miracle coming for you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah there are ladies who have even guys this spell of disfavor please listen in the name of jesus you will literally feel like something being wiped out of your face i see many people being affected by this lord where are they that mark of disfavor by this anointing right now right now i break that mark right now inside outside in the name of jesus i tell of that mark kaparataka latoshia that mark of disfavor that embargo of bad luck upon your life that makes things not to work i come against it in the name of jesus hallelujah listen you have come to the end of your road and if god does not step in there will not be any way out i pray for you that door closed over your destiny that will not allow you move to the next level i stand under this anointing in this miracle service and i prophesy i command that door to open right now oh come on believe it believe it i command that door to open shakatata i command that door to open swing open in the name of jesus whatever has been emerged from heaven to enter your hand and is yet to enter your hand please stretch your hands towards me Shalakataya, in the name that is above all names i stretch my hands back receive it right now receive it receive it receive it right now everything that must enter your hand inside and outside i command it from the realm of the spirit i deliver it to your hands in the name of jesus hallelujah everything that has refused to grow in your hand ideas businesses please listen everything that has refused to grow in the name that is above all names return and cause it to grow return and cause it to grow i command that business grow i command your family grow i command your finances grow i command your ministry grow hallelujah i pray for you you hear me pray this all the time because i've seen what it can do in the life of a man where are your destiny helpers if there is one prayer you must receive in this place listen god can use men to help a man and in one day god can bring the right people to wipe your tears lift your hands in the name of jesus the son of the living god where you have struggled and struggled 
with no hope of help as you lift your hands let an anointing from heaven land upon your life and call helpers right now right now right now i release that anointing upon you for help for help for help for help take it receive it the anointing listen all you need in your life one person can just tell you do a b c or i know a who can do b for you and it can open you up to a whole new world one more time i pray i call them from the north the south if they are in zaria here we call them if they are in kaduna state we call them any part of nigeria receive their ministry now receive their ministry now whoever has vowed to destroy your life i'm praying oh this is judgment in the name that is above all names if there is any human entity standing i declare let this night be a night of judgment let this night be a night of judgment let this night be a night of judgment listen when pharaoh refused to allow egypt israel go god took his firstborn whatever must be taken from your enemy to let you go we take it tonight in the name of jesus hear me let me tell you the truth there are men that hold the destinies of people low i teach you principles of success but i'm spiritual enough to know a man's destiny can be kept at a standstill whoever kept your destiny at a standstill in the name that is above all names i put an anointing upon you go forward go forward go forward go forward go forward in the name of jesus go forward i prophesy in your career go forward in every area of your life hallelujah let me speak over our finances you see what is happening around the nation father we believe in the power to prosper and we believe in favor ah there is such a thing my brother and my sister called favor lift your hands my god and my king that anointing for favor that was on joseph that anointing that made five loaf and two fish to feed five thousand people wherever you are may that anointing come on your life right now it's coming on people may that anointing come upon you it comes upon you right now hallelujah some of us are moving but our pace is too slow that's the truth we need acceleration we are moving but your pace is too slow there are things you should do in two weeks not three years there are things you should do in one day i'm praying for you the bible says and the hand of god came upon elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of ahab down to jisrael the anointing that must come upon you that between now and next month miracle service what has not happened from when koinonia started may the god that i serve release it into your life i command speed 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 i prophesy it speed hallelujah all those writing jam lift your hands it's time for you to move forward if you are not writing you can stand in for somebody maybe your loved ones or whatever in the name of jesus the bible says and when they were tested in all matters of wisdom hear me daniel was found 10 times better that 10 times better unction as you write your jam 
may the angel of wisdom cause you to pass this jam in the name of Jesus there are people who suffer and read and sit there in front of that computer and don't know what to do you will know what to do in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I'm led to pray for those in final year I don't know why but the Holy Spirit is speaking to me we need to release you there are things that have come up some of us physically speaking is obvious there is trouble where is that God who can correct a man's mistake I pray for you in the name that is above all names you will graduate this year I said you will graduate this year I don't know how it will happen but you must graduate this year hallelujah the secret receive this two more and we are done the secret the ideas the strategy you need for the next level of your life i'm praying for you please lift your hands there will be a strong impartation god is releasing anointings for creativity some of it will come upon you you will not know why but when you sleep you will see it in dreams my god i'm praying I see this thing falling on at least 40 people in the name that is above all names that anointing for creativity receive it right now right now right now right now an impartation an impartation an impartation an impartation inside outside inside outside take it take it take it creativity ideas I send them from the spirit concept right now right now business ideas career ideas hallelujah Malapo Sodo Baradaba now I'm going to pray the last prayer breakthrough you don't know what breakthrough is some of you let me tell you what breakthrough is breakthrough is when the barrier standing between you and the next level is not lifted destroyed if it's lifted it can appear in your future please listen some of us what you need is breakthrough you don't even know the name of the situation you are in but i pray at the count of three i want everybody to just shout breakthrough as loud as you can and something remarkable will happen i'm seeing rain falling that's what i'm saying father this is the instruction you gave me as we shout hey, yeah, 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 yeah. somebody's husband husband somebody's husband is receiving breakthrough somebody's husband husband at the count of three one two three yes lord receive it receive it receive it malakata baba breakthrough breakthrough i smash those barriers breakthrough in the name of jesus breakthrough i mark you with an anointing that anywhere they see you they will be compelled to bless you listen to what i'm saying i mark you with an unction i mark you with a mystery and i command that anywhere they see you may they bless you anywhere you enter may this anointing force men to bless you anywhere you travel to may this anointing distinguish you isaac blessed his son and said the smell of my son is like the field brothers and sisters hear me there is a fragrance that can come upon a man that will force men to bless you anyhow 
I don't know who must appear to bless you, but I'm saying it again. In the name of Jesus, I mark you with a mystery that forces men to bless you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashkana Katabranda Katekatos. Katebranda Katapakotosko to break a take a legata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.